Here's the most important thing you need to know about topology in Blender. If you understand this one simple trick, you're never gonna struggle with topology again. So let's say you have an object and you wanna make some holes in the object. For example, I have this box at the side of this T72 tank and I wanna make some holes so I can add some details like these handles right here. And probably what they told you in other videos is to just use a Boolean modifier and cut a hole straight into this box. But if you use a Boolean modifier, you're gonna end up with horrible topology like this. You get a bunch of n-gons, which means if you want to add some smooth shading or God forbid a subdivision surface modifier, it's gonna be a complete atrocity. So this is not gonna work. This is the wrong way to cut holes in Blender. So here's the right way to do this. And you have to remember this because anytime you want to cut a hole or attach something or extrude something out of an object, this is the method that you're going to use. First, you're gonna have to add some loop cuts this way and then some more loop cuts this way. The reason we're doing this is so we can have more geometry to create the shape that we want. Now you're going to select an area. So you're gonna select one face and you're gonna control shift right click on another face to select the whole area between those two faces. Now inset this little area with I and we need to make the corners here a little bit more round. So go to edit, preferences, add-ons, type in loop and activate this simple add-on called loop tools. Now you have to select four edges around every corner and you have to press W, loop tools, relax, and you have to set the number of iterations to five. And now your corners are gonna be round. So we're gonna select this surface again. We're gonna inset it just a little bit one more time, just so we can get a nice bevel for some smooth shading. And we talked about this in the last video. So if you wanna learn about why it's important to use bevels to control your edges, then go check that out. Then you have to extrude this, extrude it again, and maybe inset it one more time at the bottom just so you can have some nice edges again. Now you have a hole with perfect topology. So now if you want to add smooth shading, it's gonna look beautiful. You can even use a subdivision surface modifier and you're not gonna have any imperfections or artifacts or anything like that. Now that you understand this simple concept, you never have to worry about bad topology again. And if you wanna see more tips like this, I put together a short ebook about how to leverage topology to make your models better in Blender. You can find the link for that in the comment section. Let me know what you wanna see next. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.